Okay, so in this video, uh, just very simply, we're going to uh, estimate an ordinary squares uh, linear regression model. Um, we've already set the uh, same example out with the same data in Excel. So some video clips uh, here in R. Um, I took the code initially from um, R for econometrics with R. Uh, you can follow the hyper the, the link here. Um, and we set it up in a Google Colab uh, using R. And in this instance, we're going to use a Python command. So if I double click and go in, just basically to look at the same data again, a uh, very simple linear regression model, we load in uh, the usual libraries. Um, so matplotlib um, and seaborn and numpy, right? And then uh, we must load in uh, the array. So this is this this was the student teacher ratio is x, and test scores are the dependent variables. So we have independent uh, variable. We're going to estimate an intercept. Uh, B is the coefficient on the student-teacher uh, ratio. And Y are the test scores. We would expect that there is a negative relationship between the two. When we plot the X and Ys together, we can see that as the student-teacher ratio increases, as there's more students spread over fewer teachers, uh, we, we see a pattern perhaps of uh, that the test scores are reducing a bit. Um, okay, to run the regression, uh, they get a model fit. Um, um, we'll just uh, use SK uh, linear model. And uh, we put a line of best fit then through the data points. Now the explanation behind the theory of the regression and the, co the coefficients and so on already done in Excel and in R, so you might take a look at that on the same Vinegar Hill uh, page. And then the last bit here is just to output the 2.96 and the 713. So this is the intercept. This is the coefficient on the student-teacher ratio. We can compare against the numbers we've already obtained. Uh, and we can see, okay, we're getting the same output uh, in R. Okay, so that's just the basic linear regression set up in Python in Google Colab, and I'll post uh, the video clip just here.